Spokesman Communication Ministries, Sanctuary of Hope Church, present our anniversary and leadership conference. Theme, Stars Forever. Building kingdom stars in all spheres of life, grooming leaders as shining stars in difficult and dark times. From July 22nd to 27th, 2014. Order of program, day one, Tuesday 22nd of July by 5 p.m. Program for teenagers, the rising stars, building a solid foundation. Day 2, Wednesday, 23rd of July by 5 p.m., Destiny Builders Summit, making life choices for single men and women. And then, the Leadership Conference, taking place from day 3 to 5. Day 3, Thursday, 24th of July by 4 p.m. Day 4, Friday, 25th of July. Day 5, Saturday, 26th of July, Night of Inspiration, Night of Stars. Day 6, Grand Finale, Thanksgiving Service, Sunday, 27th of July, by 9 a.m. Venue, Hope Auditorium, Sanctuary of Hope Church, opposite Adesami Bus Stop, beside Ife Central, Local Government, Ife Ibadan Expressway. Ministering, seasoned international and national men of God. Folks, Reverend Professor and Reverend Mrs. Erabo. Every one of us has a gift, seem to be developing. Every one of us is an undiscovered mind. I'd rather go around the world looking for a mind, dig out the giant that is in you. Mom and be less. less. Man shall live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the father. And David now learned that although people may make suggestions, although people may entice you with many things, I stay by the word. If it is not the word, then I wouldn't live by it. If God says no, then it is no. If God says yes, it is yes. And so, before I now move on into the ministry, I want you to look at your past life. Have you made that resolution that anything you do must be according to the word? Because of the plot you are... This man may have had a lot of mockery. People that have mocked him. But it's not important. The important thing is to grow in the world. The Bible says, as newborn babies desire or hunger for the word that you might grow. And so if you know Jesus Christ, or you live for Christ, and you fail and you fall, and people say you are a very bad person, it doesn't really matter, but just keep growing. Just keep growing. In a few years from now, what you are today will not be what you will be tomorrow, because you are living on the world. The world is the building block of the Christian life. It's the seed we sow, planted and watered, that makes our life formidable and make our life great, and make our life powerful. It is living by the word. But then finally, which is the most important thing as I bring up, you now realize that after you may have had a bad past, you can still be a channel of blessings. Now in this particular man in gatherings, he saw what Jesus did for him. He saw how great Jesus had lived for him. And the next thing I called to him is that he wanted to follow Jesus everywhere he went. He wanted to give his life serving Jesus. And Jesus made a very important statement. And I believe that statement is so important to anyone who wants to carve out a great future. And that statement is in verse 19. How be Jesus suffered him not? But said unto him, Go home to thy friends and tell them how great things the Lord had done for thee and had compassion on thee. You see, one of the things you must learn that after God delivers you from a, a, a bad past is that you must commit yourself to testify for him. You must commit yourself to a ministry for him. Sometimes I, I, get, I, I wonder how people would think that coming to church on Thursday and on Sunday 
It's service. It's no service. It's no service. When you come to church on Thursday and on a Sunday, you are coming for yourself. If you come and tell me the pastor blessed you, it's for yourself. You're not serving. You're not serving. Just like somebody coming to a restaurant to eat. He's finished, drops his plate and go back. I say, ha, ah, I'm very committed to that restaurant. Or somebody coming to work, you know, enter the work. In fact, end of the month, he collects his salary. He said, I'm very committed to that institution. Everyone that will have a great ministry must decide that I must be committed to something in the house of God. Spokesman Communication Ministries, Sanctuary of Hope Church, present our anniversary and leadership conference. Theme, Stars Forever. Building kingdom stars in all spheres of life, grooming leaders as shining stars in difficult and dark times. From July 22nd to 27th, 2014. Order of program, day one, Tuesday 22nd of July by 5 p.m. Program for teenagers, the rising stars, building a solid foundation. Day two, Wednesday 23rd of July by 5 p.m. Destiny Builders Summit, making life choices for single men and women. And then the leadership conference taking place from day three to five. Day three, Thursday 24th of July by 4 p.m. Day four, Friday 25th of July. Day five, Saturday 26th of July, night of inspiration, night of stars. Day 6, Grand Finale, Thanksgiving Service, Sunday, 27th of July, by 9 a.m. Venue, Hope Auditorium, Sanctuary of Hope Church, opposite Addis Ami Bus Stop, beside Ife Central, Local Government, Ife Ibadan, Expressway. Ministering, seasoned international and national men of God. Hosts, Reverend Professor and Reverend Mrs. Erabo. Every one of us has a gift, seem to be developing. Every one of us is an undiscovered mind. <laughs> and rather go around the world looking for a mind, dig out the giant that is in you. Mom and be less. less. There must be this decision that I'm not going to be a benchmark mama, that I'm going to commit myself to something in the house of God. I'm going to commit myself to something. You see, you never know the impact. I was in a place to, this week to discuss some vital issues. And the people I met, I consider them the tough men of that city. They were the people, the people who shake us and move us. They were very tough people. And I won't go into details because they may watch this program. And as I was coming there with my mom and other person, the first thing they mentioned, ah, is it not this man we are seeing on television? Is it not this man we are seeing on television? Three of them came. Meaning they gave us chair to sit. And they said, they will never do anything against me. I said, why? He said, lest tomorrow I will come to the television that I met three people who treated me badly. <laughs> you see, when you are not committed to ministry, when you are not committed to God, you become, a, a, you become an instrument for negative evangelism. If you are not positively evangelizing or positively testifying to God, then Satan you, begins to use you as someone to fish out. And so the first thing you must do when you are moving from a bad path is to say, I want to be committed. If you are in the church, you must join a group. You must be committed to a group. You see, as I get older, I want to tell you that some few decisions I made in my life. One, I said I will never complete my house till the house of God is completed. That was a big decision I made. Number two, I said I will never be active in any secular job till I am also equally active in the work of God. I said it is better for me not to ever graduate. So all throughout my life, and all the evidence in this town, I have never, because I want to get my part one, or part two in the listing, or my fellowship, Dodge Church, Dodge Fellowship, I've never. I was telling my testimony to somebody in Benin. I said I finished school set, and I went to a reverend father. I said I want to give my life totally to serve God. 
And the Reverend Father said, first of all, go to university and your life will be more useful to God. And I told people I was talking that thank God took me to university. But I kept on focusing. I made that resolution. That big resolution. That I, at the equal time I give to God, to the things secular, I must not do God less. The third resolution I made of my whole lifetime, that every single money I earn, or ever get in this life, God must have a portion. Usually, above a tenth, but not less than a tenth. No matter I end this money, whenever I end this money, I made that resolution. The number four decision of my lifetime was that I can never be friend with any single person whose life is questionable. I cannot be intimate with that person. Once in my spirit, I sense that this man's life is questionable, he can't be my friend. We can sit down together, we can chat, no way he can't be my friend. I made a resolution that I can never, ever eat any meal in my life, fasting, without first of all reading the Bible. And I would never greet anybody fasting in the morning without first of all praying. See, there are some resolutions you make that determine the breath of your life. And that determine how your life will ever turn out to be. You see, when you don't make those resolutions, your life misses out. And so, you must commit yourself to a ministry. And that's exactly what God was telling this man. Commit yourself to a ministry. And the first thing, go to your home and to your friends. Testify to those around you. Let them know you are changed. Let them know you don't sleep with your boyfriend again. Tell them, look man, I used to sleep with my boyfriend and I, 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 I usher in the church. I have decided I will not sleep with my boyfriend again. If he comes, I'm not available. Tell them, I'm not going to wear this kind of dress that I think that is, is good to others people. Sensual and erotic feelings, but it's against my spiritual life. I wouldn't do it. Tell them that I will not get involved with this internet fraud. Go and tell your friends. For six years, I was um, HOD of medicine or somewhere. But I noticed that nobody has ever come to me and tell me, please, influence me. Um, my sister is there, give him paper. Or my brother is the other one, help him. Because clearly, I had made my ground known. My principles are clear. They are very, very, very clear. Very clear. When you are hiding to your roommate that you are not a Christian, when you are not letting them know you are a child of God, then you are not a called person... Uh, Jesus Christ told that the one evidence that will put the enemy off guard is to go to your home and your friends. Because by the time you tell your friends, I'm not like this. You know, you are giving them evidence on which word to indict you. And so they will keep an eye on you. They will watch you. They will look at your life. The second thing Jesus wanted this man to know that when you go out, you don't give the devil a foothold. Because when you, are, when you go out to testify, when you go out to testify, you put the devil on the defensive. You put him on the defensive. But when you don't testify, the enemy is on the offensive. So this morning, if you are coming out of a bad past, you must go out and testify. You must go out and tell people who you are and tell what God has done for you. That was a go and tell them. The third thing God wanted this man to talk about, he must go out and talk about the graciousness of God. He says, he told them, he says in verse 19, he says, go and tell them what God has told them. And, and he had had compassion on thee. Spokesman Communication Ministries, Sanctuary of Hope Church. Present our anniversary and leadership conference. Theme Stars Forever. Building kingdom stars in all spheres of life, grooming leaders as shining stars in difficult and dark times. From July 22nd to 27th, 2014. Author of program Day 1, Tuesday 22nd of July by 5 p.m. Program for Teenagers, The Rising Stars. Building a solid foundation. Day 2, Wednesday, 23rd of July by 5 p.m., Destiny Builders Summit. 
making life choices for single men and women, and then the leadership conference taking place from day three to five. Day three, Thursday, 24th of July by 4 p.m. Day four, Friday, 25th of July. Day five, Saturday, 26th of July. Night of inspiration, night of stars. Day six, grand finale, Thanksgiving service. Sunday, 27th of July by 9 a.m. Venue, Hope Auditorium, Sanctuary of Hope Church, opposite Adisami Bus Stop, beside Ife Central Local Government, Ife Ibadan Expressway. Ministering, seasoned international and national men of God. Host, Reverend Professor and Reverend Mrs. Erabo. Every one of us has a gift, seem to be developing. Every one of us is an undiscovered mind. I'd rather go around the world looking for a mind, dig out the giant that is in you. Mom and be blessed. You see, when we go out to testify, we are going out to talk about the compassion of God, the graciousness of God, the goodness of God, the forgiving hands of God. God is a good God. And so the Lord will make me realize that our testimony must be redemption. I was going out, I was moving somewhere. I met my very good friend, a doctor colleague of mine, who belonged to the Seventh day Adventist, very nice friend of mine. And he told me, he said, Pastor, I'm preaching seriously about the second coming of Christ. Judgment is coming soon. I said, Have you finished preaching about the first coming? Whether we like it or not, Christ is coming to again. But the second time is coming in judgment, but the first time in mercy. And so we must talk about the graciousness of God. We must make people know that God is a gracious God. I said, God told him, go and tell them that God had had word compassion on you. God is compassionate. Then he told you have to also testify of the great power of God. When you go out to talk to people, what is great power? That God can have power over demons. The unclean spirit. That at the name of Jesus, every name shall bow. Go and testify of the great power of God. Of the great power of God. I don't know if there's anyone of us here who is testifying about God. As long as you are not testifying, then you are a candidate for satanic affliction. Then finally, Jesus Christ wanted them to testify of the transforming power of the gospel. This was a man who came out, madman, disorganized, tearing about and turning things off. But this same man, God turned him to change. And that's what the gospel is. The gospel is always testifying of the transforming power to turn us around, to change our past, to give us a great future. I don't know if you are listening to me here on television or listening on television or in this church and you think you have had a very bad past or you feel you are having a bad past now. When Jesus made that unclean man, he said, come out of him. And the man who had a very bad, difficult past Became in the right mind. First of all, God cured him of mental instability. Then God cured him of demonic affliction. Then God cured him of unclean life. That is the transforming power of the gospel. Wherever the gospel is preached, wherever the gospel is proclaimed, wherever the gospel is announced, that power can change. That power can turn lives. And it's you that must testify. If there's any message I want to leave with you this morning, that you can't just say, look, God has changed me and stay where you are. You must, those change must set a lot of things in motion. You must go to your home. You must go to your friends. You must testify of the gracious nature of God. Of his great grace. You must testify of his great power over demons. 
and you must testify of his, this transforming power of the gospel. Can we pray? I don't know if you are here listening to me this morning. You don't know Jesus Christ. Or you give your life to Jesus Christ and you took it back again. And you want to say, Pastor, please, I want you to come. I want to give Jesus the first place in my life. Can you raise up your hand now? Let me pray for you. For watching me on television, you can just put your hand upon your, your Bible or your cell. Just raise up your hand if you want me to pray for you now. You have been living a bad past. My sermon says a bad past in a great ministry. And you today you want to say, Pastor, I want to start having a great ministry. Or you have been a bad pastor and you are still in transition. But you want to transition to a great ministry. Raise up your right hand. Yes, is there someone here? One more person. One more person who can also touch. Or you are a child of God. You have not yet started having a great ministry. You just come to church on Thursday, come to church on, Friday, on Sunday. Oh, I want the pastor to know me. That's not life. That is not Christianity. That is parasitism. But today you want to say, God, I want to have a great ministry. Raise up your hand wherever you are. Raise up your hand. Thank you very much. You, are in a, you have not joined an activity group in the church. You don't belong to any activity group. You want to say today, pastor, from today now, I'm going to commit myself to an activity group. I'm going to commit myself to something. Stand up wherever you are. I'm going to pray for you. Stand up wherever you are. Those of you raise up your hand. Stand up. There's power here to pray for you right now. Stand up wherever you are. Say, God, I want to now commit myself. God has need of you. Go and testify is the word. And if you are here today, you want to say, Pastor, I want to testify. I want to be committed to the work of God. I want to be part of this ministry. I want to be part of this job of reaching out to souls. Can you raise up your hand and stand up? Thank you very much. Yes, there are two more people here whom God is saying, don't sit down. And maybe God has been talking to you and you have been holding back. And now God wants you not to hold back again. If you are in that situation, stand up. Thank you very much. Now those of you who are standing up, just pray this after me. Oh God, I come in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father, that you give me the grace to move Father, energize my spirit. Father, energize my soul. Father, energize my being. And fill me with the power of your spirit. I ask this in Jesus' name. Spokesman Communication Ministries, Sanctuary of Oak Church. Present our anniversary and leadership conference. Theme, Stars Forever. Building kingdom stars in all spheres of life. Grooming leaders as shining stars in difficult and dark times. From July 22nd to 27th, 2014. Order of program, day one, Tuesday 22nd of July by 5 p.m. Program for teenagers, the rising stars, building a solid foundation. Day two, Wednesday 23rd of July by 5 p.m. Destiny Builders Summit, making life choices for single men and women. And then, the Leadership Conference, taking place from day 3 to 5. Day 3, Thursday, 24th of July by 4 p.m. Day 4, Friday, 25th of July. Day 5, Saturday, 26th of July. Night of Inspiration, Night of Stars. Day 6, Grand Finale, Thanksgiving Service. Sunday, 27th of July by 9 a.m. Venue, Hope Auditorium, Sanctuary of Hope Church. Opposite Adesami bus stop, beside Ife Central Local Government, Ife Ibadan Expressway. Ministering seasoned international and national men of God. Folks, Reverend Professor and Reverend Mrs. Erabo. Every one of us has a gift seen to be developing. Every one of us is an undiscovered mind. And rather go around the world looking for a mind, dig out the giant that is in you. Come and be blessed. Yes. Thank you very much for tuning into the Hope for the Nation television program. I'm so glad that you are part of this great ministry, the Greg Rabo Partnership International. It has been my goal for these years to reach out to people 
at various levels. We've touched lives by bringing healing to those who are sick. We touched lives by reaching out to the poor in terms of provisions and services. We visited people in the prison and offered education to those who need help. We are expanding our reach around the world with the aim of bringing hope and communicating truth to as many people that have not received God. I want you to realize that it is your giving financially that is making this possible. I want to encourage you to be part and parcel of this program. As you give, don't forget that every giver will be blessed. No giving is lost. The Bible says, give and you shall receive. Measures pressed down, shaking together, run over, will God bring to your bosom. More than that, to be part of this great mission of touching lives, of blessing people, of seeing people transformed, to me there's no joy as great as that. Thank you for your giving. Thank you for your support. I want to pray for you right now. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, my partners all over the world, who have been giving financially to keep this television program on. I pray you will bless them in all their endeavor. Bless them physically. Bless them spiritually. Bless them financially. Bless them in their work. Bless them in their homes. And bless them in everything they lay their hands to do. But I give them the grace to continually advance in all their endeavors that they will have cause to give you glory. I pray that the works of the devourer will not exert over them and the powers of hell will not exert over them. Goodness and mercy shall follow them all the days of our life. I ask this in Jesus' name we pray. My friends, information regarding the Greg Rabot Partnership International will soon be shown on the screen. Just be part of it and I hope to see you next week. Don't ever forget, regardless of the circumstances, God is on the throne. And if God be for you, it does not really matter how many people are against you. God bless you.